Today I'm featuring illustrator Johan Jägerkrantz. His site is an inspiration for anyone struggling with their online shop descriptions. Hey creatives! Welcome back for another 30 second scroll. I'm Jessica Gardner, communication coach at Arklish, where I help artists and designers to describe their work more confidently so they can feel seen, connect with their audience, and succeed faster. Today's featured portfolio is illustrator Johan Jägerkrantz, and you can find his work at johanjägerkrantz.com. I discovered Johan's work through Instagram, and I think his illustrations are just stunning. But beyond that, he also includes an interesting description for each of the items in his online shop, so I wanted to share his site with you. He provides a nice mix of information for his audience, the practical details of the item, plus a short story about the lore behind it, and kind of uses fun conversational language to help us connect. As always, your portfolio needs to do two jobs, and the first one is to help you get notice noticed, even in a short amount of time. So I've got my timer set for 30 seconds, Let's see what stands out. All right, what did you notice? I'd love it if you'd leave a comment and share your thoughts. Uh, for me, the things that were kind of interesting for my first impression was that this is all just one long site. It's all the homepage. There's no uh, individual pages, which is kind of cool, but you know, it's got this very dynamic layout, so it still feels interesting. And then of course, all these beautiful images. Um, but what I really want to focus on, even though I could spend all day looking at these images, I want to focus on Yuan's descriptions and kind of talk about how he helps his audience to connect with his work through them. So I've chosen a few examples to share with you. And you'll see how he, like I said, kind of gives a mix of information, the practical details, and then a paragraph or two about the lore behind the piece, and then some conversational language to help us get a sense of his personality. So the first one I'd like to share is this Odin All Father. Now, I'm part Norwegian, so I was sort of drawn to these, you know, Scan Scandinavian myth stories. And uh, it's intriguing to me because I don't really know that much about them besides, you know, what I've learned in the Marvel Thor movies, which I realize is not much. So I was really delighted to see that he included these little bits of uh, Scandinavian lore. Odin is the oldest and highest of all the gods. The others obey him as they would a father, which is why he is also known as the Allfather. He is not only chief of all the gods and their leader, but also god of the heavens and the god of battle, poetry, and death. Together with his secretive brothers, Vili and V, he shaped the world. Despite his prominent position, Odin is not especially popular among men because they know he is unscrupulous. He is a contradictory deity who likes to appear as a good and just leader one minute, only to turn an to an unscrupulous manipulator the next, one who will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. So really interesting, you know, there's a lot of, the, a lot of things there that I didn't know, and it kind of piques my curiosity to learn more about this story. Then at the end, he includes uh, a little bit of the practical information. The art print is in A3 format, he gives the dimensions, and is printed on fine art paper. The print is signed by the artist, so that's really good to know. And it says you can click the image to see the full layout of the print because that first image that comes up is kind of a, a detail. So, as I said, a really nice balance of like practical questions that answers, you know, any, any, any questions the audience might have, but then also helps us to connect with the story behind the piece because sometimes having that connection might be the difference between buying something and just being like, oh, that looks nice. You know, if you can relate to it, if you understand the story, you can connect to the story, you might be more willing to click buy. Then the second example I wanna share is this one, St. George. 
Now I love dragons, so anything with a dragon in it I'm automatically drawn to. And this one, I just, again, it's so beautiful, this illustration. But let's look at the description. St. George, or George of Lydda, is arguably the most popular dragon slayer of all time. He has become the archetypal image of the noble knight on a white steed, rescuing damsels from ending up as dragon lunch and defe defeating evil in its most gruesome reptile form. St. George is the patron saint of a plethora of nations, including England, Portugal, Catalonia, Lithuania, Serbia, Montenegro, Ethiopia, and Georgia, which is thought to be named after him. So again, it's really interesting to me to like get a little bit more of this background and to see how he kind of pulls us in with his conversational language, you know, joking about the dragon lunch. It's kind of fun. But then it kind of gives this wide appeal by talking about, you know, he's a patron saint for people who are religious or, you know, talking about, you know, all these different countries and cultures that, that give him this special importance. So it kind of gives you a, a sense of his broader appeal, which might be really compelling for some people. And then again, at the bottom, he's got these, you know, practical details with the dimensions. So the last example that I want to share is actually one of his books. Yes, this one, The Undead. I just love this image. It's so cool. And this time in the description, he changes it up a little bit. He starts with a uh, kind of a personal introduction. Ever since we started up the Johan Jägerkrans web shop, we've gotten heaps of questions about buyers, about buying signed copies of my books. A limited number of individually signed copies of Vaisen, Norse Gods, and the Undead are available in the web shop. In addition, each book is accompanied by an exclusive signed A5 print depicting the book's cover. So we've got kind of that fun language again, like heaps of questions. And, you know, just giving that practical information that the audience might want to know. That might be the difference between a purchase and not. Just, you know, to have that extra information. And then we get to the description. Around the world, we find stories about vampires of all kinds. And here they are portrayed in all their ghastly glory. The list of undead creatures featured is long and varied, including, among many others, the beautiful Japanese snow woman, the Indian Vitela who haunts graveyards, the Scottish water spirit Glaisteg, Filipino vampire children, Haitian blood-sucking witches, Arabic demon death eaters, and the Japanese hunger ghost Gaikin who eats feces. There are around 40 different creatures in all, each one more terrifying than the last. It's impossible to resist these unique monsters, all sharing similar traits around the world. Fortunately, we not only learn about the ways in which they emerge, but also how to protect ourselves from their powers. So. If you're into monsters and that sort of thing, it's probably really appealing to learn these kinds of details. And even though I did not probably pronounce them correctly, know that these stories exist around the world and that all these different cultures kind of tell the story of these same monsters. For me, I think that's really intriguing. And I think a lot of other people might be curious to know more about, you know, these, these monsters with their global appeal. So, I just think he does a great job of using the descriptions in his pieces to help his audience connect. And that's the second job of your portfolio. Once the audience is reading to kind of pull them in, help them connect and motivate them to bring your relationship to the next level, either to follow you or maybe even to buy something. And I think Johan's site is really successful at this because he draws us into the story of his illustrations so that the work has more meaning for the audience but also gives us the practical information we need to make a decision about whether we want to buy something. So I follow him on Instagram. If you would like to do the same, you can find him at Johan underscore Jaeger crowns underscore illustrator. Sadly, that is all the time we have to look at his site today. But uh, if you're watching in YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching elsewhere, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment and let me know what you liked about Johan's site. And if you're interested in volunteering your portfolio i'm always looking for new people to feature so feel free to suggest your own or someone else that inspires you you can email me at jessica at artglish.com or if you're struggling with how to tell your portfolio story i'd invite you to try my portfolio writing journey it's a free email series with tips that will guide you through the process and you can sign up at artglish.com thanks again to johan jagerkrans you can find his site 
johanjagerkranz.com for more inspiration and all these links will be in the notes. I'll see you next time for another 30 second scroll.